When John was growing up in Liverpool, he always had a special feline friend hanging around. John Lennon was crazy about cats. Lennon, who was always passionate about art, also loved to sketch drawings of cats. Some of his illustrations of cats ended up in his books to boot. Yoko Ono said, I began to find John and Sean drawing together. John would draw something and explain to Sean what it was. This is a cat, catnapping, Sean. John's titles were very short and succinct, with great wits and humor, and made Sean laugh. This is how Sean learned the fun of drawing, the fun of doing things together with his dad and the fun of life. John's mother Julia had a cat named Elvis, whom Julia and John were both crazy about. Julia Barrett, John's half-sister, wrote, Mommy liked Elvis Presley to such an extent that when we got a kitten it was christened Elvis. The cat later produced a litter of kittens in the bottom of the kitchen cupboard, so we realized our mistake, but the name remained the same. When John was a child growing up in Liverpool, there were at least three cats in his life. Teach, the marmalade colored, half Persian, died when John was at college, which he attended from 1957 to 1960. Sam was another cat he loved. Sam was named after famous British diarist Samuel Pepys. Tim, the half Persian ginger cat, was a stray found in a snowy street by John and became a special favorite. Tim remained a special favorite for John. As a young boy, John doted on the cats. Every day, he would cycle to Mr. Smith, the fishmonger in Wolfham Village, to buy pieces of cake for his pets. Even after John became a successful pop star, he would call back and check on Tim to see how he was getting on. Tim lived a happy life and survived to celebrate his 20th birthday. In 1965, 25-year-old John, then wife Cynthia and son Julian lived in a house in Weybridge, England, with many cats. Cynthia said, that once the house was completed, John insisted on getting a cat. After living with them his whole life, he was going crazy without them. She went on to say, the first, a tabby, was named Mimi after his cat-loving aunt. Two more soon followed, including one named Babaki, another tabby, and eventually we had about ten, said Cynthia. John's first wife, Cynthia, clearly loved cats as well. John also had a cat while he was a pop star and a member of the Beatles, whose name was Jesus. He wasn't the only band member with a cat named Jesus. Paul McCartney once had a trio of kittens named Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Also George Harrison had two Siamese cats named Rupert and Justy. Apparently in the mid 70s, John had an affair with his secretary, May Penn. At the studio one day, a receptionist brought in a box full of kittens. John did not want to adopt any of them because he traveled too much, but May picked one of the kittens Whereupon John decided to stroke her. They decided to keep the cat. At the close of work, there was one white kitten left who was very vocal. They decided to adopt this kitten as well, and they named the pair Major and Minor. John Lennon's cat owning days continued with a pair of black and white cats called Salt and Pepper. As befitting John's soft-beat sense of humor, many places report he christened the white cat Pepper and the black one Salt. John and Yoko also owned two Russian blue cats, purebred, which they named Gertrude and Alice, who each met tragic ends. After a series of sicknesses, Gertrude was diagnosed with a virus that could become dangerous to their young son, Sean. John later said that he held Gertrude and wept as she was euthanized. Later, it is said that Alice jumped out of an open window in the Lennon's high-rise apartment at the Dakota and plunged to her death. Sean was present at the time of the accident, and he remembers it as the only time he ever saw his father cry. In later years, John also had three cats. He named Misha, Sasha and Charo. Yoko Ono said, we had three cats. He always had trouble sleeping, and he would get up in the middle of the night and go into the kitchen. The cats would all follow him in there. He'd stay up for a few hours, writing, sketching. He loved hanging out with the cats. He had a strong affection for cats, actually having known as many as six at a time. In short, his history of cat guardianship indicates that he was a true cat lover and a lurophile. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ringo, folks. Uh, well, what can I say? And goodbye you to know. all of them. <laughs> Well, this is Ringo. Everyone seems to have said everything here, so I'll just sign off by saying cheerio and best of luck from the Beatles.